Hi guys, welcome back to 12.4 of our math unit. We're going to be looking at liquid volume today. Now the chart at the top of your page looks a little bit scary. There's lots of boxes, lots of words, lots of numbers. It's really hard to see what's going on there. So I'm actually gonna show you another little, um, we call them anchor charts, so that you could have something that's a lot simpler to look at. So if you grab an extra piece of paper and just your pencil's fine, I'm gonna use a marker just so you guys can see better on the camera, but you don't need to use a marker. So grab an extra piece of paper now, and then I'll show you how to make this nice little anchor chart that'll help you throughout the whole lesson, make it a lot easier to see than um, the chart that's at the top of this. Alrighty, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is on our paper, we're gonna make a big G. And this G is taking up almost my entire piece of paper, okay? And that big old G stands for your gallons. That is the biggest unit of liquid volume that we are going to be looking at, okay? Inside my gallon, I'm going to have four Q's. And I wanna make these kind of big, okay? So I'm gonna have four Q's. These Q's stand for quarts, okay? There are four quarts inside the one gallon. That's why we draw them inside of the big giant G. Okay, so there's four quarts in a gallon. Then inside of our quarts, we're gonna draw two P's. Make the circle of your P a little bit bigger. Okay, so in every quart, you're gonna draw two P's. These P's stand for pints, okay? So in one quart, one Q, there are two pints. In one gallon, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints, okay? And this will help you um, when we're looking at converting later, this is very easy to do that. So if I look at my gallon, okay, I wanna see how many quarts. Okay, there's one, two, three, four Qs. If I'm looking at my quart and I wanna know how many pints there are, there are two Ps inside of my quart Q, okay? I'll make a little key for this at the top. Inside of your Ps, you're gonna draw two Cs, okay? Two little Cs. Those little Cs stand for cups. There are two cups and a pint. And then if I, so there's two cups and a pint. Inside of a quart, there are one, two, three, four cups. Inside of a gallon, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cups. So this is just a little chart to help you so you don't have to memorize these and I feel like it's a lot less confusing than all of this and having to figure that out, okay? So remember your G is a gallon, your Q is a quart, okay? your P is a pint, and your C is a cup, okay? One more thing we wanna add to this is that uh, one cup equals eight fluid ounces, okay? Fluid ounces. Uh, we were dealing with ounces in our last lesson and we just put OZ for those, but when we're talking about liquid, we need to make sure we say it's a fluid ounce. We put an FL in front, okay? So again, this chart, and I'll, re I'll refer to this chart later on when we start doing our comparing, um, but it's really easy to help you see a visual of how many of each of these units are inside of another, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's look at our unit. So we are looking at these different um, units of liquid volume. So we're looking at the gallon, the quart, the pint, and the cup, and then the fluid ounces, okay? 
this chart breaks down everything we just did um, inside of that diagram. So if you understand the chart and the chart works for you, use the chart. If that diagram you think might work for you better, draw the diagram that way you have it with you for the rest of this lesson and for your um, homework page. Okay. So our first example says draw two bars that represent this relationship. One bar needs to show gallons and the other bar needs to show quarts. <clears throat> okay, so we need to draw two diagrams. One needs to show gallons, one needs to show quarts. So I'm going to draw my first bar and this is going to show my gallons. Okay. So this is one gallon. I'm going to draw another bar right below it. And then the other one they want me to show is quartz. So if I go back to my diagram that I drew, inside of a gallon, how many quarts are there? Or how many cues are there? Good, we can count four. There's one, two, three, four. So that means I need to break this second bar up into four pieces. So I'm gonna cut it in half, and then each piece in half again, and that'll give me four of the same size pieces. And then each of these is one quart, or QT for short. Okay. Step two says shade one gallon on the bar and then shade one quart on the other bar. So shade one gallon, shade one quart. <clears throat> How many quarts does it take to make one gallon? Good, four, we saw that in our picture and then we drew it on this bar graph. So a gallon is four times as large as a quart. So if I'm going from gallons to quarts, I'm gonna multiply by four, okay? <clears throat> now, on our next um, example, it says Serena needs to make three gallons of lemonade for a lemonade sale. So we need to make three gallons. She has a powdered mix that mixes 350 fluid ounces of lemonade. How can she decide if she has enough powdered mix? Okay, it says use the model on page uh, 43, which was the bar graph model that we saw um, to help you, or what we're gonna use is this little chart that we made ourselves. <clears throat> so first we need to find how many cups are in one gallon. So if I look inside of my picture, inside of my G, how many C's do I see? So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So there are 16 cups in one gallon. And in one cup, how many fluid ounces are there? We said there are, good, eight fluid ounces. So to figure out how many fluid ounces are in one gallon, we need to multiply the number of cups by the number of ounces in our cup. So we would need to multiply our 16 cups by our eight fluid ounces. So I'd have to do 16 times Eight. First, I would start with my six times eight. Six times eight is 48. Put down my eight, carry my four. Then I would do eight times one is eight, plus four more is 12. So one gallon holds 128 fluid ounces. And we'll see that in the first line of our chart here as well. Okay. But she needs to make three gallons. 
So we've got to see if she has enough fluid ounce powder to make this um, lemonade. So we are going to multiply our two gallons by how many fluid ounces are in one gallon, which is 128. So we do 128 times two. We start with our ones times our ones, so two times eight is 16. Then we do two times two is four, plus one more is five. Then we do two times one. Two times one is two. So it would be 256 fluid ounces. For our three gallons, we're gonna do the same thing, but multiply it by three. So we have three times eight. Three times eight is 24. Put down my four, carry my two. Then I have three times two is six, plus two more is eight. Then I have three times one, is three, so this would make 384 uh, fluid ounces. Okay. So down below, she has, remember, 350 fluid ounces and Serena needs to make three gallons. We just figured out that three gallons is 384 fluid ounces. Oops, let me add it to you. Okay. So, what is more, 350 or 384? Good, 384. So this says that 350 is less than 384. So Serena has enough mix for 350, but she needs to make that three gallons. So 350 fluid ounces is less than three gallons. So Serena does not have enough. She does not have enough. She needs more. Okay, on this page, just like um, in previous pages, they do have this conversion chart for you up here in the top, or you can use that one we made. <clears throat> so for our first one, it says compare the size of a quart to the size of a pint. Use the model or a model to help. So they gave us a model here. I have a quart. If I was using my chart, I see that I have two pieces down below. So I'm gonna find my quart and I have two. I have one here and one here. Okay. And I would look and I would say, well, which one of these over here has only two pieces? And I would see two pints. So this would be one pint and one pint. So a quart is two times as much as one pint. If I want to go from quarts to pints, I need to multiply by two. We could have also seen that in our picture. If we look at our Q, which is our quart, and say how many pints or peas are inside of it. There are two. Alrighty. So our next section, we just need to complete the statement. So our first one says we have two pints and they want to know how much that is in cups. So first we got to look at our pints. So if I look at one P, I say how many cups are inside of one pint? Good, there are two C's inside of one pint. But I don't have one pint, I have two pints. So I need to multiply my two pints by those two cups we just saw inside of one of these peas. 
Two times two is? Good. Four cups. Okay, for our next one, we're looking at three gallons, and we want to change that into quarts. So if I look inside of my gallon, how many quarts or cues do I have? Good, four, there's one, two, three, four. So I would take my three and multiply it by four, and three times four is 12. Okay. For number four, we are looking at quarts and cups. So I'm gonna look inside of one of my cues, and I say, how many C's are inside one Q? So I'd count. One, two, three, four. So inside of one quart, there are four cups. So I take my six quarts and multiply them by my four cups that are in each one of them. Six times four is 24. All right, on our next one, we're changing gallons into pints. So when I look at my big G, how many P's are inside of my whole picture? Good, there are eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I multiply my four gallons by the eight pints I can find in each of them. And then I would say four times eight is 32. Okay. My next one, I'm going from cups to fluid ounces. Okay, this one does not change. There are eight fluid ounces in every single cup. So I would take my five cups and multiply them by the eight ounces in each cup. Five times eight is 40. In our next section, we're gonna be comparing. So just like we've done in the past, you wanna change your larger unit into your smaller unit. So for our first one, we have gallons and we have cups. So the first thing I need to do is look back at my single gallon picture and say how many cups are in one gallon. So if I look at my whole picture, how many C's do I see? So let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So there are 16 cups in my one gallon, so that's what I'm gonna multiply by. So I do two times 16. Two times 16 equals 32 cups. So I have 32 cups on this side and then 32 cups on this side, which makes these equal. From our next one, we have pints and cups. So I want to look and say, okay, how many cups are inside one pint? So there's inside one P, there are, good, two C's. I can count two C's inside. So I'm gonna be multiplying by two, because that's how many cups are inside of my pints. And then I take my number of pints, four, and I have four times two is eight, so I either have eight cups or I have six cups. Which one would my alligator want to eat? Good, it would want to eat the eight cups or four pints. Okay. For our next one, we're looking at quarts and pints. So inside of one of my cues, how many peas or pints do we see? Two, I have one and two. So for this problem, I'm gonna be multiplying by two. I take my number of quarts. I would say five times two is 10 pints. So 
So do I want 10 pints or 11 pints? Good, 11 pints, I want more. <clears throat> All right, for number 10, it says a soccer team has 25 players. The team's thermos holds four gallons of water. If the thermos is full, is there enough water for each player to have two cups? Explain, make a table to help. All right, so there are a couple things going on in here. First, we gotta figure out how many uh, cups are in those four gallons of water. The other thing we need to figure out is how many cups we would be using if each of those players drank two cups or had two cups. <laughs> so the first thing is we have 25 players and they're each gonna drink two cups. So if I do 25 times two, I'm going to get 50 cups, okay? So this is our magic number. We want to make sure we have more than 50 cups when we go through our chart. So first we need to look at our gallons and see how many cups are in one gallon to fill out our chart. So if we go back to our giant G uh, picture and we count all of the cups inside, we would get 16, good, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so there are 16 cups in one gallon. Now to get to my second one, I would do 16 times two, which we've done a lot of lately. 16 times two is 32, okay. For my three gallons, I would do 16 times three. Three times six is 18. Carry my one. Three times one is three plus one more is four. So this would be 48. <laughs> then I would do 16 times four. Four times six is 24. Four times one is four plus two more is six. So did we make more than 50 cups with our four gallons that our container can hold? Good, yes we did. 64 is bigger than 50. So we would say yes, they can. And then we would have to explain this. So our four gallons equals 64 cups, okay? <clears throat> they would need 50 cups <clears throat> for each player to have two cups. Um, actually, they would have they would need 50 cups so then we're going to show that comparison so 50 cups is less than 64. okay so we do have enough because 50 is less than 64. even put my little circle in there all righty for our next problem we're going to be looking at two kids one is making sense and one is making nonsense. Just a second for my camera to adjust. All right, so Zach says that one pint is one fourth of a gallon, which means there are four pints that make up a gallon. And uh, Angela over here says that one pint is one eighth of a gallon. So she's saying there are eight pints in a gallon. So we gotta figure out who's right and who's wrong. So Zach says there's only four pints in a gallon and Angela says there are eight. So if we look back at our picture, we wanna count how many pints or peas are in our 
whole gallon, so the whole thing. How many peas are in our whole picture? Good, there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so who was right then? Who's making sense? Zach, who says there's only four in a gallon, or Angela, who says there's eight pints in a gallon? Good, Angela is making sense because you just counted them and there were eight pints inside of that gallon. Okay, so that actually helps us uh, explain why Zach was wrong by knowing how Angela was right. So Zach's statement is nonsense. Okay, his statement is nonsense. And then you need to tell me why. So why is his statement nonsense? What did he do wrong? Good, we can talk about the fact that he said there's only four pints in a gallon when there's really eight. So we could say something like, there are eight pints in one gallon. There are eight pints in one gallon, not four, like he says. Not four. Okay, and then we need to talk about why Angela is making sense. So Angela's statement makes sense. And why does it make sense? It makes sense because there are eight pints in a gallon, which means that one pint would be one eighth of a gallon. Okay, so there are eight pints in a gallon. So a pint is one eighth of a gallon. Okay. Number 12 says Peter's glasses each hold eight fluid ounces. How many glasses of juice can Peter pour from a bottle that holds two quarts? So we're changing from our two quarts into fluid ounces or cups. Either one will work here because cups and the fluid ounce, eight fluid ounces is the same thing. So when I look at my chart, I'm looking at one of the cues. How many cups are in one queue? So how many C's are in a queue? Good, there are four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So we would do our two quarts times our four cups in each um, quart. So we do two times four is eight, and make sure we label with the glasses. Number 13 says, a pitcher contains five quarts of water. Josie says, the pitcher contains 10 cups of water. Explain Josie's error, then find the correct number of cups the pitcher can contain. So we have a five quart pitcher, and we're talking about some cups here. We know that Josie is wrong. It tells us there's an error. So she did her math wrong. We need to figure out um, what the correct answer is. So 
So if we go back to our chart, we're going to look at quarts and those cups again. So in one quart, how many cups were there again? Good, four, one, two, three, four. So Josie should be multiplying her five quarts by four, but she's not. What is she multiplying her five quarts by to get 10? What times five equals 10? Good, two. So Josie is only multiplying by two, not by four. So that's our first part is explaining her error. So Josie uh, multiplied by two, but there are four cups in a quart. So she should have multiplied by four. And then we need to do the correct math below to get the right answer. So we would do our five times four equals, five times four is 20, don't forget to label, cups. Okay. And that is it for this lesson, that is it. So you will be working on the homework page. Um, in the first section, you're changing one uh, unit of measurement to another. You can use your chart to help with this. So here, if I'm going from quarts to pints, I would look at my chart and I would say, okay, inside of the Q, how many P's do I see? And I see two. So that's what I'm gonna multiply this number by. Okay, that's how you figure out how to use this chart with what you're doing. So here, if I'm doing nine pints, and I'm talking about cups, I'm gonna look inside one of my P's and I'm gonna say, how many cups or C's do I see inside one P? And I see one, two. So that means I'm gonna multiply my nine by this two, okay? So that's an easy way to use this chart. For the second part, you're going to have to compare. So doing kind of what you were doing above, but then using it to compare. So you need to start with your highest unit of um, fluid ounces and change it to the smallest. When I'm looking at gallons and quarts, I'm gonna look at, okay, how many quarts are inside one of my gallons? One, two, three, four. So I would multiply my three gallons by my four quarts and see if this answer is bigger than this or if it's equal or if it's less than. Number 14 and 15 are just some word problems doing exactly what we were doing right now. Number one and two on the back are the same, just converting. Uh, and then you have some spiral review done here. You should be able to do all of this spiral review um, on this page. None of these are from unit 11 that we didn't get to. So we will see you guys later today at the Zoom meeting at 2.20 to answer any of your questions about this unit or um, any other questions about anything we've done so far. Miss Miss Evanson will also be there to answer any questions about all of your paper stuff that you guys are gonna continue working on with her in the next couple days. So if you have any questions about either of those things, 
please come join us for the Zoom meeting. Ask your questions, get your answers. Um, just a reminder that on Friday, we will be having a special art lesson after Ms. Hogan's um, Zoom meeting for uh, the science and social studies lesson. I will send out another link um, around 3.20, 3.30 for you to come and join me for that uh, if you guys want to. So we will see you later.